Are you one of these people? Chicken. Mayo. Chicken salad. If so, this video is for you. Unless you like eating this, let's kick your chicken salad up a notch. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tubby Time, where we wing the recipe. We wing the recipes so you don't have to. If you like what you see or you haven't yet, click the subscribe button in the bottom right corner. Make sure to like our videos, leave a comment on things you want to see, and just help us out. Give us tips on how to make our videos better. We're here for you guys, and we want to share our cooking experiences with you. So, as you can guess, we're talking about chicken salad. One of my favorite things ever to eat. What's the problem with chicken salad? It's so freaking expensive. Why is it $8 or $7 for a pound of chicken salad? Like a pound of chicken and other things mixed together in a tub where I can get two pounds of chicken breast for like, I don't know, $6? Doesn't make any sense. I don't want to pay more for less chicken. So my only solution to that is to make your own chicken salad. It's really not that difficult, believe me. I make chicken salad all the time. It's one of the greatest things ever. And you can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can mix in fruit. If you're one of those people, gross. You can mix in bacon, cheese, onions, other vegetables if you're into that. I'm not. But you can mix in all sorts of different things. Nuts. People do nuts. I don't know. I just like chicken and fattening stuff. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. But you can make this recipe your own. I'm just going to go over the basic recipe with you guys so you can stop spending all your hard-earned money on chicken salad that costs too much. So let's get into it. All right, you may be asking, what kind of chicken do I use for chicken salad? In my experience, the best kind to use is rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken peels apart easy. You can cut it up and mash it up and do whatever you want to do. And it's very moist. However, we live in the state of Connecticut. So our brilliant governor taxes prepared foods. I don't want to give the state any more of my money. So there are two other options. Either you can buy chicken and poach it, which keeps the moisture in. It's amazing. We actually have a video here you can check out where we actually poach chicken but what i find is the simplest thing to use is this yeah canned chicken very weird this is just the costco canned chicken or kirkland brand comes in this nice 12.5 ounce container and if you shake it up you can tell it's mostly water it's just like canned tuna so what we're going to do is we're going to use two of these and we're going to make chicken salad with this the cool thing about these is they obviously don't go bad very soon this is uh august 17th october 17 2022 we're gonna open these up drain them out and use them for our chicken salad all right well, let's use our can opener to get this open as you can see here there's a lot of water we don't want to uh spill that all over our countertop and what i'm trying to do here is i want to go all the way through because we're going to use the lids to, ugh, to drain the chicken. Uh, that's what you got inside. Oh, it's dripping on the floor. All right, yeah, as you can see, it's very watery. So we don't want to add that. As you can see here, the cake pedestal is still in the sink from when we did the lemon cake video. Kale has just been so busy working on the front lines during this pandemic to clean her stuff. So just got to work around that. So all we're going to do is I just, oh, it's so gross. All I do is I just push down here and like I, I use that as a little older thing. I really want to get all of the juice out. Oh, it's just delicious. I'll pay anyone 20 bucks who puts that in a cup and drinks it. Actually, you know what? I have a friend that might, so let's do that. As you can see here, I'm just shaking it because I want to get all that juice out. We don't want water in the chicken salad. So that's what we're left with. You know, I've actually never tried this. Just plain. Let's see what this is talking about. It's not bad. Not something I'd had for dinner and plate it, but, you know, pretty good, I guess. Chicken drained bowl in. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Mini rubber spatula. Let's get all that out.
Now all we want to do, as you can see, it's chunky, got big chunks like this. We're just going to mix it together and try to blend it up so it's in thin little chicken salad-ish strips, you know what I'm saying. And this breaks apart so easily. I don't like this. Fork. I'm just really being rough with this because I want to get it very broken up. All right, so we have it shredded, as you can see on the fork, looking for that sort of, you know, thin strip consistency. Now that that's in there, we need to start adding our ingredients. Now, I have a bunch of ingredients, but the main ingredient we need that everyone knows about is mayo. Are you one of those people that likes mayo? Do you like looking at mayo just out? If I just lick this. That's gross. I got power through. I love mayo, but uh, ain't gonna catch me eating a jar of it, that's for sure. Why is it always so messy? Is there an amount of mayo you need to add? Not really. It's all about what you want. I typically add a few spoonfuls, stir it around. And I, I, I'm stirring it around right now because I want to see where we're at with the mayo before I add everything else. And what's cool is the more you mix this, the more you're going to break the chicken down so it's in thinner pieces. So if I were to scoop this out right now, that looks pretty good. I mean, we, we're looking at, you know, it's sticking together. It looks appetizing, sort of. I'm gonna add a little bit more mayo because I do actually like a little bit extra mayo. Now I can really like scoop this whole thing out in a ball. That looks good. Who invented mayo? It's so weird. So if you're a psychopath, we're done. You can just eat it like this. Or if you want it to be good, we can add some other stuff. So two secret ingredients I have that are a bit weird, you might think, but actually make this a lot better. Dijon mustard and lemon juice. I don't know why, but adding lemon juice to chicken salad and Dijon mustard just kicks it up a notch. Now the Dijon obviously has a little bit of a, you know, a horseradish-ish flavor. And we're, that's not the focus. The focus is the mayo. I just add a little bit of this. There we go. Yes, I buy great value mustard. Lemon juice, obviously don't want to go overboard with this. We'll just do a little spritz. And now we can mix that together. Lemon juice is very potent. You don't want to oversaturate the chicken salad, obviously, with lemon juice. That'd be gross. And I am going to try this right now just to make sure I didn't overdo the mustard. No, tastes really good. Like I said, it's a weird combination of flavors going on there, but it works really well. All right, dry ingredients. What are we using? Your typical salt and pepper, right? Got to add it to everything. And of course, I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes doing this because I have an obsession with pepper. Salt, do a few pinches. This chicken is a little bit naturally salty, so we don't want to overdo it. Garlic powder, just eyeball this usually. Optional, celery seed. Now I don't actually have celery, so I'm just going to add a little bit of celery seed just to bring that celery flavor profile into the picture. I don't want to add too much because this stuff gets stuck in my teeth. We're going to mix that. If you're actually using celery, don't add celery seed. There's no reason for that. I just like the taste of celery. I want to give this a little bit of a try because I want to see what it tastes like before we add our final ingredient. It's good. It's got a nice salty, peppery profile. The last thing we're going to add is the secret you've been waiting for this entire video. Stay tuned to find out. The secret ingredient is brown sugar. In specific, hard brown sugar. This brown sugar has been in our house forever. How much do you use? Well, usually for this specific recipe, I would say a quarter cup. Yeah, you heard me. A quarter cup of sugar in your chicken salad. Oh God, this shit is so, so chunky. Chicken salad normally store-bought is pretty sweet. So you add some brown sugar to it, it kicks it up and brings the saltiness down, especially with this canned chicken. Like I said, the canned chicken can be a little salty even though we did add salt. So the sugar really balances that out. I'm trying not to get the chunks in there, but I'm gonna do a few spoonfuls. What in the world? Let's see how that is. I got a few chunks, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. This is what we're looking at right now. As you can see, the, the pinkish color from that chicken. Obviously, it'd be whiter if I didn't use canned chicken, but 
So let's give it a try, see if we need to add anything else to it. I never realized this. You get the Dijon undertones as you're swallowing. That's what she said. Very weird. But you get the sweetness, the saltiness, all that good stuff. I am going to add some more pepper. Because I'm obsessed. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is your basic chicken salad. Now, that's the base, right? So you can go on and do whatever else you want afterwards. You can put your stupid nuts and cranberries and... Oh, my God. So gross. You can put bacon. Oh, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of bacon and cheese to this because it's my chicken salad and I don't do cranberries or nuts. The other thing I want to talk about is adding vegetables. I will eat this with lettuce, tomato, onion, and like I said, you could use celery, which I usually do. I tend to keep that separate. And the only reason is I found through putting everything together, you get a lot of the juice from the vegetables, especially if they're an onion that's naturally watery. You're going to get a lot of those juices and it makes your chicken salad watery. Like you have to drain it. Anything with meat that I have to like drain, I'm not really a fan of. So I think that's weird. Let me add some bacon bits. Yep. I'm fat. Look at that. Doesn't that look just so much better than just mayo and chicken together? I can't wait to eat this tomorrow because I'm bringing it to work, but that's good. All right, so that's it. Amazing. And what's great is Kayla's not home yet, so I can keep this all to myself. I don't have to share with her because she'll eat the whole thing. God damn it. I was too late. I'm assuming you're gonna to want to try that. Chicken salad mm, with good. bacon and cheese. Ooh. Don't eat the whole thing. I need this for work. Did you put stuff. your brown sugar in it? I did. Secret ingredient. Secret ingredient that you told everyone? Yes. Yeah, that I told all of you. Because I love you. All of you. Alright, so now you're eating the whole thing. I said not to do that. I like the bacon though. What do you, what do you think? Anything needs? Everything's to taste in this recipe, for the most part. I mean, obviously not the lemon juice. You don't want too much of that. Are you going to make a tuna melt? Right, no. Right now? No, like when you eat this. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. No, wait. Well, no, I'm not going to put a tuna melt. This is chicken salad. A chicken melt. Whatever. Yeah, I really like the bacon in it. Good. Approved? Approved. All right, good. That's it. So, like I said, make your chicken salad at home. It's way cheaper than buying those stupid pound things at the store that cost you your salary, just mine, because I'm poor, but yeah, that's it. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, subscribe right there. Just do that. And we will see you next time on Tubby Time.